conversation with Tangam Kutiani, who is one of the choreographers for today's event. Tangam, talk to us about you know your dedication and the involvement that you know gives you that drive to you know continuously work with you know participants and choreograph and take out time from your you know everyday life to put something like this together. Okay, so um, being born from India and coming here, you know, we're so far away from home and like a platform like this is such a great opportunity for us, like even as youth, for us to show our talent and um, help like, you know, choreograph and coordinate events and I think that's it. So, um, you know, especially for Christmas and New Year, um, we are so used to seeing you know these celebrations out in the american community and it's different from the for the indian community especially for the south indian community to come together and create something like this how do you feel about that you know your organization being so different and creating something so different well, um, as Malayalis, you know, we're, there's more Christians for us, and um, I guess we're the minor minorities in India. So for us, you know, Christmas is a great time for all the Christians to kind of come out and, like, show their version of, you know, Christmas and the holidays. So that's what our version of Christmas is. All right. Tangam, thank you so much for sharing your thoughts, and congratulations on a successful event. Thank you. Appreciate it. And happy, uh, Merry Christmas and happy holidays. Kerala Samajam is a 33-year-old uh, organization. I would say the biggest organization in South Florida, uh, where Indians come together and celebrate all these events, like Christmas, New Year. We have our Onam program, and also we have an inauguration program. Apart from that, we do conduct boat race, tag of war competitions, and you know, all of, all year we have different variety programs coming up. You know, to get these people together, you know, we keep the same culture as we lived in India. I mean, almost the same, not exactly the same, but as far as possible. So uh, this event, like Christmas event, you know, we have the main attraction was the Christmas cake that you know one of our team members built. He, one person alone built a 16 foot tall, 11 tire cake, and that was the first thing that ever happened. I, I wouldn't say that, I wouldn't, I haven't seen anywhere in you, all your US the, such a tall cake, so tasty, and it was distributed all, to all the kids, adults, everyone. I have been. Um, luckily for me, they sort of adopted me into the community and uh, actually I was invited several years ago to come to one of their initial events and it was just great and I, I will tell you I felt so welcomed by the community and we found out that through talking and, and uh, our conversations that we, we had the same ideas, we had the same uh, passion about life and, and what a community should be and how our families should be and, and our religious beliefs and, and all that and we, it was just a really good fit and um, luckily for me they have continued to invite me and have included me in many of their events and I enjoy it. I really enjoy watching the children who when I first started here were much younger and now they're growing up and teenagers and getting into high school and so I'm kind of you know seeing them grow up and become members of our community it's really very exciting and I and I feel very thankful to them for inviting me. Iris you've seen so many similarities that you just mentioned how do you think that the South Indian community is helping the community here in Broward County? Well, I, I think first off that they set a very wonderful example. Um, they're about family, they're about being respectful, they're about being playing fairly, you know, those kind of things which are all very good qualities. Um, and I'm very pleased also from the political end of it to see that they are getting much more involved in that part of it because that's really where changes can be made, um, you know, by, by getting registered to vote and having, we had a candidate running for the House of Representatives this year, which was like a first. And um, I, I think that that's just, that's wonderful. I think those are the steps that they need to take. Um, it, the community itself is growing in numbers and they need to have a voice. They really need to have a voice and that's how they're gonna continue doing that. So I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled to see that I want more of them to come out and get more active you know, that way, and uh, um, I think they are. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. Uh, we as Kerala Samajam, I've been a part of Samajam for the last five years, 
every year we create something innovative, something interesting as a finale. So this was today's uh, special gift for all our friends and family. We got about 350 members in our community and they always look forward for us for, as a Kerala Samajam for surprises. So this was a Christmas surprise for them. It actually took me about three weeks to do the cake and you know it's worth around close to $2,000 spent on that cake, beautiful cake and uh, 11 stories with an angel on the top. Actually the angel has a golden ring as well which will be gi uh, gifted to one of the raffle winners today. Yeah, it, yeah we spent a lot of uh, time and patience. I've got four children and my wife <laughs> did help me a little to, to set the cake up. And it's, uh, it's a pleasure to be um, you know, part of your channel and describing my <laughs> little thing to you. First uh, and foremost thing is before you do anything like this, you need to n know the time frame, how long it's going to take to m complete. Like I did uh, do a thorough Google search and I couldn't find anything like this before. I was looking for inspirations, but I didn't find anything actually, basically. So this was from the scratch. I had to make 11 layers with a rod in the middle. And the bottom, uh, the bottom, bottom of the cake, Christmas cake was uh, five and a half feet wide. And that would take at least 300 pieces of cake worth on the bottom, and it, all the way like a Christmas tree. And, uh, you know, we had to, uh, it was, you know, it was a lot of confidence and uh, I like to do something special every Christmas. Last year I made a beautiful Christmas crush, a big Christmas crib for the church. And this year, this is something for the community. I always love to do something, one special thing every year. So this is one of the special things I did. I was given the privilege to work with wonderful groups of children. Um, the children are a um, nice, lively bunch of children. And then I was able to work with some great, wonderful youth that were just so dedicated and committed to singing. They had wonderful voices. They just used their talents beautifully. And then we had the adults, a small group of adults that sang a Malayalam song that was just another one, a really beautiful. Just the three big programs that were just great kickoff to this, this uh, program tonight as we celebrated Christmas. So, Sharon, could you give our viewers a little um, glimpse of, you know, what you sang up there or your group sang up there? Okay. Well, um, the first song that we sang was uh, a medley of um, our, some of our traditional favorites like Silent Night, Holy Night traditional old one and then going into joy to the world uh, away in a manger some of the traditional favorites so the whole theme of that program was what are our favorite parts about Christmas what's so special about Christmas and what's favorite to us so we went we started the program actually with the audience instead of the usual we start with the program we started with the audience because they're the most important part if we don't have an audience we have no program so we started with the audience and we asked the audience What's your favorite part? What's your favorite tradition? What's your favorite song? And we went around and it was really fun to hear the different comments that the audience had to say. So it was very nice. Um, Sharon, do you also sing um, in the traditional Indian language, any South Indian language? Unfortunately, I mean, I do, but if you heard me, <laughs> my accent is not that great because <laughs> I was born here. But um, yeah, with English, and then I, I was able to coordinate the Malayalam, and you know, I love Malayalam songs, so I was able to pick out the song and, and be able to coordinate the singers for that. We had the really great singers to sing that tonight, so it was wonderful. <laughs> 